the nightlife, the hustle and bustle. You can have this part of New York. I'll take the part that I know. The countryside. The massive rafts of ducks. The diversity, and in particular, the redhead drink. We came to hunt, but what we got was front row seats to an aerial spectacle. And what a show. After a two-year hiatus, we're back in the Finger Lakes region of New York, targeting premium diver duck hunting. Uh, but first, let's meet our two veteran hunters, a special guest veteran, and our guide, Eli. Logan Smith, Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, is in the Army, uh, combat engineer, deployed to Iraq 2010-2011. My name is Casey DeLarwell. I come from Door County, Wisconsin. I was in the Marine Corps for five years as a military police officer. I'm Jen Fiore. I'm from New Hampshire. Um, I'm part of the Army branch and I was deployed in Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2004 through 2005. My name is Elijah Gilmore. I'm owner and operator of Northwind Curls. Um, we came to the Finger Lakes two years ago to do the veterans hunt with Ryan and it was phenomenal hunting. Um, we just didn't get on the redhead so we knew that we wanted to do it again. Found out about the hunt you know, on Facebook. I uh, grew up duck hunting in Wisconsin. My favorite pastime, favorite sport. Uh, excited to get some trophy birds and look, really looking forward to it. So I heard about this event through my buddy, Joe, who um, volunteers his time for it all the time, um, which I think is really cool. So he invited me to the closest one that I know of, is, which is here in New York um, at the Finger Lakes. Um, and I really want to be part of it because I enjoy spending time with my fellow veterans and helping out, making sure that they have a good experience. And I was able to provide cooking for them so they didn't have to worry about that, um, whether they're out having fun and doing their duck hunting stuff. So I never duck hunted before I had met Ryan. And since then it's changed my life for the better. It gives me an outlet for me to be me and take out friends that have never experienced the outdoors. Fellow veterans that I grew up with and joined with have come to me asking for help and I turn them on to duck hunting because it's what helped me. And if it wasn't for Ryan inviting me back to the Horicon back in 2015, uh, this never would have came to be. And I am forever thankful for that. We're going to target redheads and bluebills for the next few days. And um, there's definitely a lot of them around.
<laughs> Such a beautiful sky. <laughs> Stand up and shoot him. Thirty thousand birds picked up, coming right at the decoys. It was it was insane. It, the only way to describe it is insane. It, what dreams are made of. came out here was amazing and we saw hundreds of thousands of redheads pick up off the lake and it was a surreal experience. I've only ever seen that once before in my life and I've never seen that amount of redheads anywhere else and anywhere I've hunted. It is definitely something to behold. Coming on these trips, to me, it isn't, it isn't about the hunt, it's not about the kill, the pile, whatever, it's camaraderie. Uh, being a vet, getting together with other vets, it, you feel at home. Doesn't matter what branch, doesn't matter what it is, it's your family, brothers, sisters, whatever. Uh, very therapeutic. Uh, people understand what you've been through and just, you know, having a good time, joking around and getting together and going on hunts. So being here at duck camp with um, my fellow brothers, um, it's fun because as a female veteran, I have a different 
way of talking to people and I know the only time I can truly be myself is around fellow fellow veterans that actually understand me so we can banter and we can cuss it up and they accept me for who I am and I accept them for who they are and um, it's just it's good having that that family vibe here and just being comfortable with your own people. So doing this veterans hunt um, and just hunting in general is very important to me. Um, it's not ever been about the killing. It's been about the camaraderie that you develop um, in the boat or in the blind. I know that doing the hunt a couple of years ago, uh, I got really got to see how it can change somebody that's been through tough times. Um, and it brings you closer together as people just in general. Um, and it's nice to stay in touch with people after the years come to see what they're going through and what they're doing now. Coming to these events gives me an outlet for me because I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with my fellow veteran friends because everybody's strewn throughout the United States and these events really help bring me back to earth when I get the chance to come on them and it is, it's so helpful in so many ways that I don't I think people that haven't served will understand in the grand scheme of things that you need camaraderie and that is exactly what all of these events are about. It, I, I could give two shits if I kill a bird, but getting to spend time with some of the best people I've met is one of the best feelings in the world. The act of breaking bread has biblical origins. A shared feast builds bonds. We were here for a hunt, but we were also here to share a meal and build relationships within the community that hosted us Trumansburg, New York. Thank you to that community, all the restaurants that donated, Matt Lincoln for all your work on the ground, um, just A1 event. Our common bond sets the table that we eat at, and that's as veterans, as hunters, and as citizen patriots.